never painstakingly made a mixed tape. My husband informs me that you couldn't do that with an eight track, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I have a little something, I'm a Gen Xer, so. Uh... <clears throat> Okay, so I started this side out with in the arms of the angels, so I'm going to have to bring that up a little bit. So I'm going to start the next song with Indigo Girls. No, um, Beastie Boys, she's crafty. <laughs> no wrong message. Um, shake your rope. Perfect. <laughs> this went on for hours. Countless days lost in the creation of the perfect mixtape. Capturing every nuance of my desire. R-E-S-B-E-C-T. Need to be understood. Grabbing my best writing pen and carefully placing myself to dictate the artist and song title that laid out on display my innermost feelings for my chosen recipient. Each line strengthening my resolve that this was the best mixed tape ever. Imagining the countless dance parties that would ensue thanks to my tireless efforts or the dark nights that would be illuminated with visions of my face as my admirer ponders my depth and complexity discovered in each line of those songs. A video montage played in my brain of how they would finally get me. <laughs> Carefully pressing and centering that label on that cassette tape. I grab those liner notes and I doodle a little something extra in the free spaces. A little heart here, a little kiss there. Swack. <laughs> Taking that tape and sliding it into that case. Snap. Accomplishment rivals any A plus on a term paper or Nobel Peace Prize I am certainly yet to receive in life. Riding high on the accolades of creating essentially the best mixtape known to man, I send that perfect emotional arbitrator on its way and I wait. more countless hours. Oh, excruciating hours. Wondering what they might be thinking while they're listening to those songs. I mean, do they really like me? And maybe I was stupid. I mean, one time I gave him that pencil in class and I don't know, he's so stupid. And then he might or he might not get that little one meeting of that Dylan song, because it's kind of obscure. And then, ah, damn straight. <laughs> One in return. Yes! Oh, a tennis match ensues. All of those lyrics that we want to share with one another but aren't experienced enough to pin ourselves. Oh, listening into every song and reading in between the lines. See the lonely man out on the weekend. Aw, he's lonely without me. <laughs> Beautiful girl, stay with me. He thinks I'm pretty. <laughs> and he wants me to be his girlfriend forever. <laughs> Blame it on a simple twist of fate. Yeah, fate. Fate brought us together. We were meant to be. Listening to that tape until it almost burst from exhaustion. 
each syllable carrying me further into their arms and shaping my destiny. <sighs> now it's all so easy. Just send a playlist or share something on Spotify. Stalk them on Facebook. <laughs> No careful penmanship or spacing. Just compile, jump, drive, send, done. Each whim can be short-lived for the full duration of its enticement. Tick, tock, finny. Can mirror any one-night stand or hopeful beginning without any investment. Simply immerse yourself in the moment, and then when it is tired and played out, just delete it. Without a trace, without the paper to disintegrate over time, it just disappears. No pauses, no choices, no reflection. Communication becomes more threadbare in that ether than any mixtape I ever formulated. Today I still have a couple of those liner notes tucked away in a file labeled important. Feel free to look for that tonight, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> it vigilantly holds their meaning. And they set the bar for expectations of a new mixtape yet to be recorded. <laughs>